When creating your own overlay, you have more customization options, but the themes and widgets in Streamlabs OBS look amazing and they are completely free. So let's set up a beautiful stream right now. What's up everyone, Jelle here with the Video Nerd and welcome to the Streamlabs OBS Master Course. If this is your first time on the channel and you want to grow your influence with gaming then make sure to click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because this channel is perfect for you. Without wasting any more time let's go to Streamlabs OBS and then go to the themes on top. So on this page there are two tabs, one for the scene themes and one for the widget themes. The scene themes are the graphics like a webcam overlay or a starting soon screen etc. And then the widget themes is for example for alerts, a donation ticker, a viewer count etc. Something important to mention is that some scene themes also have widget themes that are in the same style. For example, when we look at these themes right here, you see Facebook Gaming Circuit. And when we click on the theme, we can see that this theme has a live scene, a starting scene and a be right back screen. And then when we go on top to widget themes, we can see right here that this is the widget theme Facebook Gaming Circuit alert box. So this is the same theme, but it's for the alerts. But not every theme has a widget theme that comes with them. For example, when we go back to scene themes, right here, this is an amazing theme by Nerd or Die. It looks great, it is very advanced, but it doesn't come with a widget theme, at least not for free. Because right here on top, we see get the full animated version for 20% off. And when we click on that, we can go to their website where you can buy the full theme, including the alerts. But of course that isn't necessary because we can use this free theme right here and then search a widget theme, so an alert box that looks kind of the same and then use those two together. And that's what we are going to do right now. So right here on top, let's click on install overlay and then it will just create a new scene collection and install the theme right there. So right here in our editor, we can see that there is a new scene theme called Stealth Red by Nerd or Die. And it's a tree because it's the fourth time that I'm installing this because I did some testing before creating this video. Then on your left in the scene window, we have a stream starting scene, an in-game scene, an intermission scene, a be right back scene and a stream ending scene. I will show you one by one how to set them up and what will need to be changed. First, let's start with the stream starting scene. What needs to be changed? Well, the your name should be your name, then your media links and then your schedule. And for the stream starting scene, we can set up everything right here directly in the sources. So first of all, your name, let's click on it and then we see it appearing right here in the sources. So your name, let's double click it. And then for me, I will write the video nerd. Okay, let's click done. Then position it in the middle and you can use the pixels on the side to position it exactly like you want it and you can use your arrows to move it pixel by pixel so it's perfect. Then the social links I will show you once so you click on it, you search it right here, you double click it and you change the name right here. Okay click done and I will do the same for the other two. Okay so now that's done let's change the schedule and it's actually the same way just double click it right here in the sources and then change the information. For me this is perfect so now let's set up the in-game scene. So let's click on in-game and right here there is a lot of stuff but of course we don't need everything because the team just gives us a few options. If we separate all the things a bit we can get an overview, this is the alert box, we can get an overview of what is added to the team. So we have a widescreen webcam border and we have a 4x3 webcam border. Let's start by deleting the 4x3 webcam borders. So just click delete and enter. And now we have to choose between these two webcam borders. I like to add my socials to the border. So let's delete this one. And then we see two options for the support bar right here. But I don't know if it's because of my resolution, but there are two support bars that are hidden or that are outside of the screen and you can see them in the sources right here, the horizontal bar. You see that when I click it, it's highlighted so we can drag it and right here is the bar. Let's make it a bit smaller. Okay. And then another bar. 
right here, it was outside of the screen. And now we have to choose one of the four and I will go for the horizontal one with three tabs. So let's delete the other ones and position this one at the bottom. And something that's amazing about this team is that the labels are already added. So you can see right here, the most recent follower is Phantom Freak. The top tip and the new tip aren't filled in because the Video Nerds Twitch channel is kind of new and I haven't streamed much on it. So I don't have a top tip or a new tip, but you can see that the follower is working. So the other ones will be working for you too. Now we need to change the social links for the webcam border. Let's start by making it a bit smaller and now we need to change the Twitter and the YouTube URL. But we can't do that right here because the only thing we have here in the sources is the webcam as a whole. And this is because you can find it in the scenes right here on the left. Right here you can see webcam 16 by 9 and when we click on it we go to this scene. And now in the sources we can see every part. So now we can click on the Twitter handle and then right here double click it and change it. So the video nerd YouTube. Okay. Then do the same for the YouTube URL. So slash the video nerd. Okay. Let's click done. And this is changed. And now when we go back to our in game scene, you will see that this has been changed. When I make it bigger, you can see it better. So we are done for this scene. Let's go to the next one, the intermission scene. Right here, there are a few things to set up. You should add your webcam right here in the big window, then add your gameplay capture right here in the small. And then here the chat is already working. When we click on this arrow to show our chat and we type something, you can see that it appears right here in the chat. So this is already linked, that's great. And then of course the same thing, change the Twitter, YouTube and Facebook URL and then right here edit this text for your schedule. Then to add your webcam to the screen in the sources, click on the plus icon and choose video capture device. Then call it webcam, click on add new source and then I will be using this virtual webcam because usually I'm using my DSLR as a webcam but right now I am filming this with it. So I will choose this one right now. And then if your proportions aren't right of your webcam, for example, if it's four by three like this one, and actually your webcam should be widescreen, then double click it in the sources, right here, select custom, and then select your resolution in the next drop down. I will choose this one right now so that it's widescreen, click done. And then we should position it correctly right here. But first we want to make sure that it's below the intermission overlay. And to do that in your sources, scroll to the bottom and right here you can see intermission screen.png. When we hide it, we can see that this is the overlay. So our webcam should be beneath that source. So grab your webcam, drag it completely to the bottom below the intermission screen and then just make it bigger so that it fits correctly and this will work then you want to add your gameplay capture right here in this window but i will not do it right now because my obs program that's recording this will crash when i add another capture source so then let's go to the next scene the be right back scene and right here again change the your name change the urls right here and then the screen is done Okay, so I changed everything and it looks great now. So let's go to the next scene, the stream ending scene. Then here again, change everything like this. And now let's set up our alerts. Now, if you want the basic alerts, like this one on your stream, then you should click on that guide right there because there I explain everything in detail. But we right now will be adding a widget theme. So let's go to the themes on the top and then we will go to the widget themes. And right here we can see a bunch of widgets. Now on the left, we can select which widgets we are looking for. So let's select the alert box. So the scene theme that we were using doesn't come with a free widget theme. So we will have to look for one that will fit within the theme and that is free. So right here we see widget theme colors and we can select the same colors of our scene theme so that we can look for something that will work. So let's select red, gray, 
and white because that are the colors that are in our scene theme and then you need to look for something that you think will work i think that on the second page right here this glow widget theme that looks pretty great so let's click on it this is simple but i kind of like it so then right here on the top we see widgets zero when we click on that we can select the widgets that we want to install and then it will install only those and if you hover over them you can see a preview of the widgets i will only install the alert box right now but you can of course install other things and then play with it and see what will work but right now for the tutorial let's select alert box and then click on install so now the widget theme is installing it's ready and it should be added to our scene. So let's test it. Let's go to the in-game scene and then click on follow. If you don't see this, you should click on test widget to make it appear and then click on follow. And as you can see, it's a bit small. So let's click on it. And this is our alert box. So let's make it bigger and then position it in the middle again by using the pixels on the side and then our arrow keys to move it pixel by pixel. Okay. Let's try again, click on subscription right now. So the alert is working. Of course, now that I see it, I don't like it with this theme, but that doesn't matter. It's just to show you how you can edit and how everything works. So I think you have an ID now and you can search your own widgets that you like and add them to your scene. And a great thing you can add to this is a countdown timer for letting your viewers know when exactly you will be online and also to make sure that your stream isn't empty when you go online so that there are people to talk to immediately when you go online. That's great for engagement, also for yourself for just jumping right into it, being energetic from the start. So if you want to add this to your scene, then click Click on that guide because there I explain exactly how you can add this countdown timer to your stream. So now a question for you, did you look through all these scenes and did you find something you like or are you still going to use your own theme or let someone else make one? Let me know in the comments because I'm really curious if people are digging these themes or not. And if you want to learn to set up the settings of your stream or add custom graphics to your stream or anything else Streamlabs OBS related, click on that playlist right there because that's the Streamlabs OBS master course playlist and if you still aren't subscribed to the channel and you want to grow your influence with gaming then do that right now because this channel is just perfect for you thanks for watching and i will see you in my next video have a good day